Simply delicious and so nutritious. Would you like to come and do my dishes? back to Tasting Our Roots. I'm Vanessa. Today we're going to be hanging out at Simply Delicious in Los Angeles. The dish that we're making today is a classic seafood chicken gumbo. Just that my gumbo is a little bit different, more unique. And it is a blessing to be an eight times champion in the gumbo world. We're going to use all fresh ingredients. We're going to use a little etouffee sauce, shrimp, crab. So I'm so excited to get cooking. Let's get started. We got the olive oil here. We're going to have the garlic, the bell pepper, then the salad. But I don't see any onion. Why no onion? It spoils your gumbo. Okay. Onion. Instead of using fresh onions, I use granulated onions. From there, we're going to add some bay leaves. How long do we saute the vegetables for? Five to six minutes until it gets real tender. The type of cuisines that I have here at my restaurant is a southern style cooking with a little infusion of Creole. We have like the gumbos, the wet oxtail burritos. When you come here to this restaurant, it takes you back home. As that saute, we're going to add the Creole etouffee sauce. Woo! That looks good, don't it? That just looks so good. So what is the difference between an etouffee and a root? Traditional root takes a little bit longer. Don't want people to be impatient. I just wanted to think outside the box. I don't like my food to say, oh, it tastes like such and such. I wanted my food to be like, oh, this is amazing. I never had this type of flavor before. So that etouffee enhances all my dishes. The next step is the chicken stock. Not seafood stock? No, because I have everything in my CBD seafood blend. You can also use a little cayenne pepper. You can use some paprika, granulated garlic granulated onion, okay. and also a little chicken stock. I have seasonings that have no sodium, no MSG, no sugar, controls your diabetes and high blood pressure. Gumbo is a poor man dish, something that when people didn't have enough to feed their family, so they just came up with something they can add into the pot. Next step is chicken sausage. This doesn't look like it's been pre-cooked, why not? So as you add it to the pot, it builds up more flavor. Next is boneless chicken breast and boneless thigh meat. Is it important to put seasoning on the meats before you put them in the pot? Definitely, good to always season your meat so it can marinate. We have the shrimp already seasoned, ready to go. Then we also have the crab legs. Gumbo is the heart of my restaurant. It's part of me, and everything that I put in the gumbo is part of me. So the thing is, when you taste the gumbo, it's a party in your mouth. It's so good. And it doesn't matter like, oh, maybe this bowl may have shrimp this time, it may have crab this time. Like, it's just like the fact that you can just put all of the best meats in one pot and it just comes out amazing. So as that's simmering, we're gonna blacken the uh, shrimp and then we're gonna deep fry the shrimp. Ooh. Oh, happy, happy. <laughs> this is a home style gumbo. Okay. But this is not something that we serve here at the restaurant. All right, well, I'm gonna get the real taste. I would just like people to make something that's real quick, simple and easy. And by the time when they eat, they don't be like, oh, I don't feel like eating because I've been over the stove for an hour and a half. So since you do a quick style cook, does it change the flavor at all? That's just a mind thing. It doesn't change the flavor at all. We're going to add the Creole etouffee sauce. I just like to put a little bottom. That's a lot of flavor. Wow, look at all that. That is crazy. The all the chicken, the shrimp. So do we put any toppings? Yes, we do. You're ready to put in the blackened shrimp. Then now the fried shrimp. A little bit more of this etouffee sauce. Going to add some of this garnish. Now it's time for you to taste this creation of my famous classic gumbo. I'm so excited to try this gumbo with the blackened shrimp and the smokiness of that. The crispy shrimp. I see the different chicken pieces in here. I want to really see how the etouffee really captures that together. I cannot wait to dive into this gumbo. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to dive into this dish. I'm so excited. Alrighty, so I got a little bit of the rice and the chicken sausage. This is great. The chicken is like super tender. I'm tasting a lot of the crunchiness from the shrimp, but then you get the nice spices from the blackened shrimp. So etouffee in French means to smother, suffocate, cover, and so you definitely get that whole component in this bowl of gumbo because he smothered the rice and then he smothered it again. So you're definitely getting the whole feel of what the etouffee is about. I'm gonna have another bite, and then Daisha, you get to come to have another bite with me, please. Okay, get the, get, get the shrimp, get the shrimp. Okay, I'm gonna get this shrimp. Okay. Yeah, right? There's so much flavor. Mm -hmm. And he's right, I can't figure out, I can't put my finger on it. That's the like umami. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of sweetness and it's salty it's with it. a second. <laughs> Not having it again. <laughs> so thank you so much to Chef D for letting us come into Simply Delicious and try the gumbo and show us how to make it. So that's it for Tasting Our Roots. See you next time. 